Max Q. Max Q is the period of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle that it will experience during flight due to the forces of thrust, gravity, and atmospheric pressure. Three, two, one, engine ignition, and liftoff of the Falcon Heavy rocket on the NASA NOAA GOES mission. Falcon Heavy has cleared the tower, and the fourth and final GOES satellite is on its way to geostationary orbit. Coming up on a few different events in rapid succession. A T plus two minutes and 25 seconds. The side booster engines will cut off for Biko. They will separate three seconds later. Then the side booster boost back burn begins at T plus two minutes and 44 seconds. That boost back burn concluding at T plus three minutes and 53 seconds. Finally, first stage manager cut off for Miko just before the four minute mark at T plus three minutes, 56 seconds. Stage separation just before the four minute mark. And then the start of the Merlin vacuum engine on the upper stage at T plus four minutes and six seconds. Now coming up on Biko. And there you see Biko. Booster separation. Side booster separation confirmed. And a great and vantage point from the Falcon Heavy onboard cameras. And my goodness. PYNY boost back startup. There's the start of that boost back burn as seen by P. Carson's tracking camera. Those two side boosters will be making their way back towards landing zones one and two at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. And again, if you are in Central Florida. All vehicles are following nominal trajectories. Be prepared for the sonic boom as those boosters are making their way back through the atmosphere. Now a little more than three minutes into flight. This boost back burn has less than a minute to go. tracking from Pete here. We're now just a few seconds away from the conclusion of that boost back. NY burn. boost back shut down. Coming PY boost Miko. back shut down. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. End back ignition. All good callouts, all good events from SpaceX here. That Merlin vacuum engine now powering the upper stage as the first stage side boosters continue their trajectory. All vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. Nominally. Bearing separation confirmed. Heard from SpaceX.
coming up the next event as we cross the five minute mark and this flight is coming up at t plus six minutes and 36 seconds the side booster entry burn will begin the burn lasting about 15 seconds still keeping close tabs on these boosters as they make their way back towards Florida Space Coast. Those pulses that you're seeing there on the side boosters, those are the cold gas thrusters helping to adjust the attitude of the side boosters, making sure they're following the correct trajectory as they make their way back towards... H1 FTS is saved. LZ1 and LZ2. The center booster that you saw powering the rocket that was the last to separate from the second stage, that will be expended on this mission. Now a little more than six minutes into flight. Less than 30 seconds now on the start of that first stage entry burn on the side boosters. How about 10 seconds? TYNY entry burn startup. You see a good start of that entry burn by all accounts. These boosters flying for the first time and... PYNY entry burn shut down. Certainly earning... PYNY FTS is saved. Earning their stripes with this mission, now a little more than seven minutes to flight. All vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. Good call from SpaceX as we're coming up on the start of the landing burn. Coming up less than a minute. It'll start at approximately... T plus seven minutes and 53 seconds. TYNY transonic. Stage two FTS is saved. You can see those hypersonic grid fins also helping to provide some stability and steering for those side boosters. Coming up on the start of their landing burn. PYNY landing burn. Stage 2 is in terminal guidance. PYNY landing light deploy. PYNY landing confirmed. <laughs> 